Hello, everybody. Two packages have arrived in the mail today. I have cut them open. I'm going to show you what is inside. We're going to start with this first one. I bet some of you guys can relate to this. You know how um, sometimes you just get on a model kick. Either you didn't realize how cool it was or you missed it because you weren't collecting at the time. This is a model I've always liked, but there's been two castings or two versions of this casting that I have always wanted and I just decided it was time to get them. And so that's what these are. I went over the weekend, went searching, found a couple of nice sellers, one on eBay, one on the Toy Peddler, and uh, I purchased a couple of models. I've been waiting to add to the collection. These are both premium. Hi, Alan Zagorin. And I'm excited to look at these. And you're looking at them as the first time as I'm looking at them. Two 55 Chevy panels. And if you've seen my Instagram or my Facebook, maybe you've seen that I've been on a bit of a 55 panel streak. But let's talk about the 55 panel. This is a model that I think is something that a lot of collectors know how cool it is. Some of you maybe haven't discovered what a cool model this is because there is a lot of cool elements to it. So let's just go ahead and unscrew this thing. Okay, I have decided not to unscrew this thing because A, I like to keep my Toy Fair models and that is what this is. Toy Fair 2007, 55 Chevy panel. I like to keep them in the container now just because I think it's a good way of keeping them safe plus I don't know how well this thing closes and I don't want to fool around with it now as this thing pulls around those of you who are familiar with the 55 panel know what a cool model this is and all of the elements to it but before we get to all the details and well let's just get to the details on it if you look at this model you can see it's huge you can see it's all metal and it has a metal base metal grill it also has that opening rear panel, uh, that rear tailgate in the back. And if you look inside, there's actually a motorcycle attached inside. And in this case, that motorcycle is highly detailed. How cool is that? 2007 Toy Fair model, which means this was put together in 2006. Not available to the public, but given to those who attended the uh, Mattel Toy Fair where they preview all of their re products to retail. This was quite the showpiece and that's exactly what it was with the chrome, the Spectre Flame Blue, the cool reel riders. But here's the neat thing about this model. I have now with this reel riders version from the RLC from about that time, I think 2006, yeah 2006, 2007, Mattel went on a massive kick with this model. It was released, and then we saw it all over the place. My favorite panel, that Toy Fair may surpass it now, but my favorite panel is this one. It is a mystery model. I can't remember how you were... I remember there was a mail-in component to it, and just like that uh, Toy Fair model, if you look at it, it may not be painted, but motorcycle is inside. It's attached. You can actually maneuver it out if you want to. I don't do that. Um, this metal motorcycle. It's not plastic. It's metal. But this mystery model has some, there's some sort of mail-in component, but I love the stripes on it. It's always, I've always thought it was one of the prettiest models that Hot Wheels has done, especially in this panel van. But here's the interesting thing about this panel. Well, no, let's get to kind of the sad components of it. This is one of the other ones I have. I have one, two, three, four, five versions of the panel. This was from one branded line. And if you open it, no motorcycle. I didn't take it out. It didn't come with it. I don't have the even later versions of the panel because there's no motorcycle in it for sure. There's also no opening rear door. It's sealed up now. It's a nice model, but it just doesn't have that cool function that the first versions did. Here's the crazy thing about it. You want to see its debut? It's this one. This was a basic model, 2006 mainline. Notice, metal base, metal body, PR5 wheels, because it was a mainline model, but look inside. 
There's the motorcycle. Now this was done, it's not like every model was like this back in 2006, just over 10 years ago. But this was kind of a special little gift to collectors, Hot Wheels people, whatever. They put one per case. I think it was the final batch of 2006. And um, I never saw it on the pegs because everyone, as you can imagine, just gobbled it up. But the panel has a rich history because it started in the basic range. And we've seen it premium ever since, but it's kind of been long forgotten. Ten years ago, it was the Datsun 510 wagon for collectors. It was a must-have, and it seems to have lost its luster just a little bit. I wonder if that day will come again where this will just be a must-have model for everyone. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just preempt it. Make sure I have what I want, just in case things go nuts and I can't get these anymore. I had to pay a pretty penny for that toy fair, but I think it was worth it. All right, guys, there's a cool little addition to the collection. I might open this one at the convention. I'm leaving in the morning, so maybe I'll do that. I'll take it with me. All right, guys. Next time I see you, I'll be in Dallas. Thanks, everybody. Bye.